third class. Okay. Come on with your mystery novel. Poisoning. Only a few hours ago. I believe he was already dead when the announcement was broadcast this morning, though. I checked his broadcasting equipment. It looked like they put the video together from last night's disaster drill footage. Meaning somebody cur killed the bird headmaster killed the headmaster and gathered everyone else in the gym. Why would anyone? There's no explanation, but mere obscure delight at the grotesque. I think we may all be vastly underestimating the attitude of what's going on. It might be better if we keep to this to ourselves for now. I concur. Until we have a proper gasp of the, grasp of the situation, telling the others would only cause unnecessary panic. First Dingle, now the headmaster, are both poisoned. Were they killed by the same person? More rationally, they must have had a reason for killing him or fabricating the broadcast. This must have been connected to the quarantine. Since we're finally here, let's search for some clues. Right. Easier said than done. Every shelf in the office is piled high with documents and papers. Where do we even start? Incompetent feral. Examine each piece one at a time, looking for anything about emergency procedures, plans of the school. Got it. PTA records, that's not it. Demographics for dummies, nope. Transfer students, wait. Next to this is the human representative. That must be Dingle, and the date is from two years ago, right before she enrolled. It's not really related to today's instance, but it might have something useful. This doesn't appear to be anything but converting the school into a shelter. Anything this large would have, have to leave some sort of paper trail if it was official. Hang on. What are you reading? This. The human representative? It's locked, even though none of the others are. A minority representative is no more important than a transfer student, or more like, there's no need to have it sealed up like a criminal record. I wonder what's written in here. We can't exactly ask the headmaster to open it for us. I don't suppose the key is in here somewhere. Maybe we should ask Mr. One for help. Do you intend to break it open? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be faster than looking around for the key, and that? I was wondering about that as well. The thing on the desk, some sort of control panel, whatever it is, it's suspicious. I believe it's a control panel for some machine, yes? And spread out next to it is the dome. Maybe it controls the dome in the hatch we saw earlier? One did postulate that it would be in here. Look, locked, of course. I doubt we'll find it, it it easy to break that one. Whatever. I can't read. It's like after 1 a.m. I did not expect this to, to go on. I was like, oh, you know, I go get the doctor and, and, you know, call it a night. But no. All the same, we have some actual hope of getting out of here right now, even if this is just comforting. Let's go talk to Mr. One. I think we haven't exhausted the possibilities of this room for the time being. Let's go. They looked left and right. Mr. Yes. Oh, I see you have yet to lose your open distress of me. Well, two people have been poisoned, and we have evidence that the perpetrator went into the infirmary. It's some... It's sort of hard not to doubt you a little, sir. Not hard to doubt for Sakuru, though. How honest of you. Did you find it yet, the thing you forgot about? The thing I forgot about? He must be talking about what he said earlier. No. I'm not convinced you're not telling, trying to mess with me. Are you sure you're not trying to keep me from finding something you thought nobody knew about? How cruel. Your boundless suspicion whelms me. He doesn't look one wounded at all. More like amused. I have no right reason to regret your solving this, mister. Let me give you another hint. There's no riddle here. If you want to find the truth, you need to only keep going. You need to not use your brain at all. What are you talking about? No riddles. Wait, there's not... You mean you you say that you know the truth already. Well, who knows? If you do, tell me. I told you, you only need to keep going. Everything here is a plot that's laid out just for you, after all. Just for me. So, did Rio die and this is just a dream or something? How long must you babble? Come on. Sorry. I'll take this as a challenge, Doctor. You may take it that way if you so wish. I swear I will find the truth and I will find that you killed Dingle. 
Oh, 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 do I look forward to seeing what sort of answer you find. Mr. One? You two again, what is it? We explained to Mr. One that we found the headmaster's office. The plot thickens, I see. Well, this file might be connected to the mystery. Can you unlock it or break it? Let me see. Hmm, this was rather troublesome. It's just a lock, right? Forcing it will result in spontaneous combustion. What? Why, why would they put something like that in a bunch of ordinary documents? Perhaps because these documents are not ordinary, all the same. I have to dealt with similar things in the past. It will take time, but I believe I can open it. So defusing bombs falls under maintenance operations. Do not forget, it's not. I'm not just a maintenance worker. I am a bright and massive maintenance worker. Does that have to do with anything? So maintenance work in Japan requires a number of school skills. I am impressed. Um, I think Mr. One is the only... Oh, right. Can you? Can we ask you one more thing? You may. We found a control panel. Looks like it's for the dome as well. But it's locked. It seems to require a password. A password? Hmm. Ask Yuya for help. Yuya? He's the master of unauthorized access. So that wretched mongrel has lowered himself to crime... I never knew he could. Sakura, let it go. We need his help here. I shall take care of this folder then. I can't say for sure, but it should be done by the time you and Sakura, Sa Yuya get back. All right, thanks. You should probably write all this down since we're here. Where is Yuya in right now? Either in the lab or possibly gallivanting around like a nincompoop. It would be a lot easier if we could use our phones, but we can't. Off to the lab. Hey, at least we don't have to do the bean holiday. Here we are. I wonder if he's still there. As we turn a corner. As we turn a corner. The Scarrow Man blocks our path. Ah. Uh, eh. Oh, ah. Uh. All of the Sakura run. Oh, ah, ye. Don't worry me around, Feral. Pant, pant. We lost it, right? Oh, shoot. Sakura and I must run in different directions. I hope he's okay. All the times to run in into that thing again. If only lying in wait for us like that, we can't rely on the noise of its arm to find it. And the dome makes the building dark so it's hard to see. I'd better be careful. Where is it now? I went to head straight to the lab, but... Eh? Did I hear something? Rio, what are you doing in here? Oh, la, 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 la. oh look, it's the ghost. You went to see the wall outside. There's been an emergency and everybody's supposed to gather in a gym. You should... Your... Rio, huh? He knows my name. I must have met him somewhere before. Ah, uh, yeah. Have we met before? The unfamiliar morning dove shakes his head. This is the first time we've spoken. Why do you know my name? She told me. Miss Barry. Dingle? Oh, right. She didn't say she made friends with a freshman who's in the library all the time. Can I ask your name? Fushishurjneki. We were friends with Dingle then. Um, did she maybe see after her... Did you... Maybe see her after school. She was acting strange after all. Oh, shoot. He didn't hear the emergency broadcast, so he probably doesn't know what happened to her either. Um, she's... Don't worry about it. You don't have to explain again, huh? I already know. Oh, she washed up here and spoke to me. Which can only mean one thing. She's dead. He doesn't exactly make things easy to understand. Almost as if he's talking to himself and doesn't care whether or not his interlocal whatever knows what he means he washed up here do you mean yesterday if you know anything about what happened to her last night please tell me i do not miss barry did not come from the library after school hmm she doesn't come here either thanks i need to hurry back to the chemistry lab and you should probably get out of here too that's a suspicious individual in the building it was not yesterday that miss barry came here it was just now what He's gone. The morning dove just spoke to me. He had disappeared. Did he go to the gym? I hope so. 
I don't really want to consider the possibility, but maybe Sakura is right. Maybe I am going crazy. I have la the last long, I have to last long enough to find the killer. You're late. Blasted feral doves. You're safe, asshole. He was pretty worried about you, Rio. He couldn't sit still the entire time you were gone. Silence, mongrel. Aha, thanks. Sorry for worrying you, asshole. Anyway, Sakuru, Philip, me in on your adventures. You want me to hack into the headmaster's computer. Can you do it? Naturally, just leave it to me. Come, let's go. Welcome back. Sir, about this control panel. What about it? Can you, can't you tell? It must be controls for that dome. Hmm, right. I suppose it could be. It's locked, though. We're going to have to get, have Yuya get into it for us, but... That's illegal, you know. That doesn't matter. Don't you comprehend our situation? I never said you shouldn't do it. We don't have much choice, do we? Go on. Thank you, sir. We're... Well, having Mr. Nineke's approval certainly helps my conscience. Let's see. He wakes up the computer, and before long, I have no idea what he's doing to it. Wow, I wonder where he learned to do that. I imagine he spends his spare time stealing illegal X-rated videos off the inner tubes. <laughs> X-rated videos can teach someone how to do this, this sort of thing. Maybe I should watch more of them. There we go. Now then. There. We're logged in as the administrator now. Woohoo! Hm. This only has an open and close button. I guess it's pretty straightforward. Well, I'll leave the rest to you, you two. If we press the button, either the dome itself or the hatch will probably open, but with the headmaster dead, we have no way of knowing what's happening outside. If if there really is some terrible disaster and opening the dome could put everybody in danger, I wonder if mom's at home. I hope she's okay. There's an dangerous individual wandering the premises and the bird in charge is dead. I think it would be wise to open the dome now. That's true. We did get Yuya to help and everything. We should... Oh, God. We're gonna open it. Let's open it. We need to get everyone out of here. Agree. We can confirm once for all the talk of disaster was nonsense. Escape hatch opened. I guess it's not for the whole dome. No matter all we need to do is get a look outside. Just having a hatch open is better anyways in case there really is a storm or something out there. The Escape hatch will automatically close in 15 minutes. To reopen, please reboot and try again. It closes on its own. Seems like a risky design. 15 minutes is enough to get everyone out. Let's go back and take a look before it closes. Once we go outside, Mr. Neki, if it's safe, we'll organize an evacuation at the gym. Hmm, that's a good idea. Maybe I should come too. What will you two do? Hmm, well, I don't have any more business here. I shall return to the lab. Leaving Dingle alone with another man would be hardly gentlemanly, so I will go with the doctor. Well then, let's go. Very well. Yep. Let's get this show on the road. Where was that hatch? Have you... If your eyes are pickled onions, right there. Hatch right above the ground is open. Looks like the control panel worked. Hmm, I think everybody should be able to fly up to that. It's a little narrow. We'll have to get one or two at a time. But outside, yeah, it's perfectly clear. You can only see the sky, but there's no storm or gale. Nothing but the same calm out of the sky from this morning. No earthquake, no typhoon, and the announcement was a fake. I think it's safe to assume this whole thing was a lie. I'm curious about the state's things out there, but the door closes on its own, so we have to be careful about going out. Can't see the sky city at all. I don't really know what's going on, if there's anything, but... There really is no disaster, and this is some plot surrounding Barry's death. We need more clues. I'll go. Are you sure? We have no guarantees that it's safe out there. It isn't safe in here, either. Look, the hatch is open. It is. We can go home. No, you're supposed to be in the gym. You shouldn't go out yet. Like heck, we're sticking around with nothing than bogus explanation from earlier. Can't wait any longer. I'm going out. And then they get zapped. Waiting for them to get killed. Gah! A gunshot? We have to help him. Calm down. You only get yourself shot as well, but... 
if, as to if, lock as it as if to laugh at my shock, the hatch gives an unpleasant rumble and swings shut. He was shot. As soon as he went out, someone on the other side shot, shot him. It's not a disaster. If we go out, we get killed. But why? Okay. Fourth class. How many classes do I have to go through? Come on. Dingle's corpse delivered without warning throughout the school. The students gather without out explanation in the gym. The headmaster appearing on screen announced an emergency situation, then turning up dead. The gray dome enclosing the school. The scarecrow appearing for no apparent reason in a sealed off building. And now the students shot dead if they try to escape. What's going on outside? How humiliating. It seems like things are worse than we ever expected. If only I had stopped him. There was nothing we could do that we didn't. The last thing you need to know is do now is start mourning what we've lost. You didn't intend to give up now, do you? No, I'm fine. We have to keep going. I think we should keep quiet about this to everyone in the gym. We can explain to them what we figured out what to do. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. One, our one chance to escape turns out to be a one-way ticket across the sticks. There's nothing we can do but search for clues inside the school. Great. More searching. Where should we go next? Let's go back to the maintenance office. Mr. N One might have that file open. Very well. We return to the maintenance office and explain what's what outside to Master One. I see. It seems our worst predict predictions have come to bear their evil fruit. Our worst predictions? Do you know something? We can predict things without knowing what they will happen. Confusing predictions with reality can be fatal, young one. I've been wondering for a while. Hmm, Mr. One, are you really just a maintenance worker? Hmm, an innocent student was shot. I suppose it's time to introduce myself properly. He's with the FBI. Leono J.B. One. I am Leon J.B., one of the greatest soaring wings of the Dove Party. S-class agent, pleased to meet you. The Dove Party? He looks like a cockatiel to me. I have heard of this Dove Party. It's a secret organization that advocates living in harmony with humans, correct? You are well informed, young one. Hmm. It's a noble's duty to be well informed. I feel like I must have missed something. There are two schools of thought driving politics today. Dub Patter, who believes we should live peacefully with humans, and the Hawk Party, who believes we should exterminate them. Exterminate, but I thought the wars with humans were over. Do you really believe that everyone just decided to live happily together? Sadly, this is not the way how the world works. There are many disagreements between birds and humans, and so the Hawks and Doves have come to the foil. We discovered hawk activity at this school, and so I was dispatched to investigate, and what we fear would happen has happened. Wait a minute, are you saying that the hawk party has something to do with St. Pidio Nations? It seems hard to believe this school is known for its tolerant policies towards humans, but even it even welcomed Barry as a representative. I cannot confirm or deny it, but there are a growing number of hawk operatives attached to the school. Headmaster Secret File will probably answer some of your questions. Oh, you got it open? Thank you. That should speed up things a little. Let's look inside. Human representative. To help humans and birds advance hand and feather towards a bright and happy future, we have decided to enroll one human in the school starting in the year 2187. There will be, they, they will be the human representative. The pandemic has long, long since ended, and we have nonetheless been cautious of the risks of infection with Symmetra influenza while making our selection. We will pick a strong, healthy 15 year old human who displays hereditary resistance to the influenza. Human representative, this is talking about Barry, no matter how we look at it. 2187, that's when we were enrolled here. Come on, let's read the rest. The chosen individual will be a symbol of human concession to wit a hostage for birds. If the representative is to die in the school, the entire campus will be seared off and all birds inside will be given to humans as prisoners. <laughs> The seal will be lifted 12 hours after the death is confirmed and the birds will be delivered to the humans. The school will be declared an extra 
extraterritorial zone and the avian protest of any human reprisal will not be tolerated. If Dingle is to die, so her death will be connected to the dome after all. And the important part is the final grinsome exchange. Basically, if anything happens to Dingle, the representative of humanity, then the entire school takes the blame. So it would seem they trap us here to give the humans time to arm themselves. The dome will open in a few hours, but what awaits us is a horde of bloodthirsty monkeys. How humorous. It's not humorous at all. So this was the true fate of her enrollment here. I'd rather think that this whole thing was arranged to widen the divide between humans and birds from the start. Indeed, things here go deeper than we realize. As you know, the school's public stance is very liberal on the human cohabitation issue. In fact, the school's principal financier, the Ichugu's group, group, has been heavily involved in human charities for the past 20 years. I have investigated the history of St. Pidgeot Nations extensively and can confirm that it was founded with the idea of coexistence with humans. But the Hog Party has been sending agents here for a long time, eating away the system like a dreadful virus. We've had information about this document for some time. It is real. It's kind of hard to talk, to take all of this at once. It just make sure for 12 hours the dome will remain closed during the time humans will gather to take revenge. And then when the door is open, they will kill every bird in sight. And with that, another era of war between birds and humans will begin. That student who got shot when he flew out the hatch, there are already humans waiting out there with guns. She was discovered this morning and the dome was rained soon after, so time is not what from what she died, but when she was her death was confirmed. The evacuation was about two hours ago. Right, so yeah, it was right at the start of the second period, around ten o'clock. And so we have until ten PM before we all get killed. You seem awfully calm, even after watching somebody get shot. Remain calm. Do nothing to worry about what's going wrong and you'll be next. I do not know who did this, but they will rule the day they decide to tangle with a label. What time is it, Mr. Leon? Just past two. We have only eight hours then. Eight hours. We have to find an escape route in eight hours or we'll be killed. But if we go outside, we'll be killed anyways. Just going outside isn't enough. There has to be another way. My dictionary does not contain the word impossible. We should continue the investigation. You're very decisive, Sakuru. I'm glad you're here. Hmm. Do not attempt to flatter me. I mean not. I mean it. We found the connection between Dingle's death and the dome. There's clearly some sort of intrigue behind it all. I don't want to die without knowing the truth. Better go now. We have to solve this before we run out of time. You're a promising lad. If I were to give you a piece of advice, well, don't miss, miss the forest for the trees. Don't miss the forest for the trees? Sakuru, that's one more file. Hmm. Operation Hatfu. What was that? I don't know what it says on here. The bottom half is turned off. I can't read it. At any rate, I feel like it's has anything hopeful anyways. There's awfully friendly name for a confidential document, though. Stupid Japanese. Look at it. It's spelled. Looks like it's spelled hurtful. Whoa. I thought Hatful just meant heartful. I expect that we will find many of the things to come quite hurtful. Right. It's probably something important given that it was locked a file. <laughs> the meta. Oh my god. Indeed. I haven't heard of the truth of this hurtful thing before, but you might want to look into the school's history. School's history. At any rate, the headmaster must have known what would happen after Barry died. The escape hatch was no doubt put in place to allow humans to escape, which means that Maybe he had a guarantee of safety for himself. I don't want to suspect an elder, but it looks that way. Everything's going here is connected. We may find something of use in the records. Right, let's go to the school's document then. I'm not the only one, only dove agent in the school. I'm sure the other will help you as well. Good luck, gentlemen. Time to go look for more clues. Maybe we should write in the notes first. Mr. Lewin said to investigate the school's history, but how? Where do we look? Headmaster's office or library, perhaps. We already looked through the headmaster's office. Did you see anything like school re- records or anything? Would have thought they would be there, but I don't recall seeing any. Library it is then. And the mystery we have left to solve is the bloodstained strangers Oko saw going 
into the firmary yesterday exactly. What will the headmaster dying an army of gun-toting bipeds showing up to turn us into jerk chicken and, and all? I almost forgot about it. And the scarecrow. We don't know where he came from. He peered along with the dome, no doubt, connected to it. If it continue to investigate, I'm sure his origins will become clear. And Barry's gruesome end is the best clue we have. For now, we should forget the puppet and chase after the bloodstained burn. Right. Then it's decided then. We'll go to the library and read up on the school's history and we'll look for that bird. It probably doesn't matter. But what should we do first? Go. I go for the library. The library. I wonder if Neki's at the gym yet. Neki? Who? I met him in the library earlier. He stayed behind. Unusual, de dense individual, to be sure. The library is a little ways from here. He spent some time jogging through the hallways. We're going to run into that thing. And trying to ignore it, but the dim light makes the library even creepier than the rest of the school. Getting hung over thi little things in a time like this is a sign of ner weak nerves. Really? Well then, where are the school documents? Hmm. Probably not where any, just anywhere you can look at them. They're probably somewhere in the back then. How doll? Come on, let's uh, search. Right. Books, books, books. None of them were looking for. I was hoping it would be in this corner, but apparently not. And here, a line of incredibly dusk encyclopedias. Hmm? That's odd. There are nine of them. Volume 6 is missing. Huh, that's weird. Did somebody misfile them? Anyway, St. Pidgeot's history is not back here with the large volume, so it's maybe it's a smaller book? It's not here. Eh? You never left? Is that a problem? Well, not really, but I told you earlier there's an emergency going on. Hmm. Hmm. I can't tell if he doesn't realize what's going on or just doesn't care. The records? Hmm. Keep looking there and you'll never find them. So, you know where they are? Yep. Well, since he's even here, I imagine he basically lives in here, so it's hardly surprising he knows where to find things. I don't have much time. Could you tell me where they find them? By request. Request? You don't know what that is? Gazes me with, me with eyes like black holes of a cosmic disdain. You can only get them by request. They're not kept out here. Then where are they kept? Behind the reception desk in the back. It's not locked, so go ahead. There are a number of bookshelves behind the desk, it's true. Thank you, Nageki, really. Don't worry about it. You've been mumbling to yourself since we split up. Please try to remain charge your faculties. Oh, sorry, I was talking to him. Talking to the bookshelves? Surely they are better used for your energy. No, Neneki was telling me where to find. There's no one here. Else here. Cease this bizarre mel mon uh, melodrama. Um, what is he talking about? Neneki is standing right next to him. Me. It's not like it's, he's behind a shelf or something. I was worried he was a figment of my imagination for a moment, but he just told me where to find the records. But asshole, let's find out. Can I ask you something, Neneki? Yes. Are you a hallucination? If I was, that would mean you were asking a hallucination whether or not he's an hallucination. Yeah, that's right. It does seem a little weird. Does it matter? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. It doesn't answer anything. This doesn't usually happen. I've never been able to talk to a bird I've just met before. I think I'll remember everything soon. What are you talking about? Have you found the thing you forgot yet? Neki, do you know something about that? Hmm. He disappeared. The thing I forgot. That's exactly what the doctor said, too. Why didn't Neki know about that? It wasn't just a conscience. A coincidence, was it? Am I forgetting something important about this? It, it doesn't think I can... I don't think I can dismiss him just as an hallucination. God, you were so wordy. Request only books. This shelf? Looks like it. it. Seems like a lot of same books as were in the headmaster's office. Chronology of St. Pidgeot Nations, this? Let's see. 2180, founding of the school, same year, blah, 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 blah. Ishigo is inaugurated as the headmaster. 2180, much more recent than I had thought. Only eight years, I hadn't known either. Aside from that, it's, it's all transfer student records and sports scores. Is there really a clue in here? Wait, Saku, look at this. 2183, Medical cent sh Center shut down due to fire. Medical Center? Does this school have something like that? I don't think so. There was no mention of it in the school guide. I suppose it was never reopened. Does it say anything else? Um, right here. 
damage from the fire. The book presents us a new mystery as the taunt are an inability to hold on all those we already have. A new sort of mystery. 2183 Medical Center shot down due to the fire. Freshman Nineke died in the basement where the fire started. Did I just hear that name? The exact same, but that's Nideki died five years ago. I thought Nideki killed himself in the library. When is then what is the neck necky I keep meeting today? He didn't deny that he was an hallucination. Saku can't see him, which means he's a ghost? Don't say such vengeful things. It's so unscientific. Uh, something in French. We're betting our lives on this search, you know. Won't have any occult rubbish brought into it. But I think he knew something. If he's the same bird, he could be the key to solving this mystery. So you intend to rely on some invisible ghost? There are limits. I spent some time looking in the, for him in the library, but couldn't find him. He's always found me, rather, the other way around. I'll just have to wait for him to show up again. 